U.S. Embassy personnel in Sudan evacuated amid violent conflict, reports. Sudanese military officials have been preparing for American evacuations. American military officials have evacuated U.S. Embassy personnel from violence-torn Sudan, according to reports. An unnamed source told Reuters that the evacuation was complete as of early Sunday morning. Diplomats and their families were successfully removed from Sudan and the capital city of Khartoum. The Sudanese military has been working with foreign governments to evacuate diplomats as their country descends into a civil war. The conflict between the Paramilitary Rapid Support Forces, or SDF, and Sudan's armed forces began on April 15. The World Health Organization reported that at least 413 people have died, while injury estimates are as high as 3,551. The operation to remove Americans by early Sunday morning was coordinated with the RSF, according to Reader's source. Other foreign nationals from different countries were evacuated via a Sudanese port on the Red Sea earlier on Saturday. The evacuations were carried out despite the onslaught of violence, disabling Khartoum's airport, which has trapped large numbers of people in the city. Not only are many Sudanese citizens unable to leave, but thousands of foreigners are also trapped. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said on Friday that American troops were positioned near Sudan as a safety measure. We always want to make sure that we're doing prudent planning, which is what we're doing, Austin added. We deployed some forces into the theater to ensure that we provide as many options as possible if we are called on to do something. We haven't been called on to do anything yet. One U.S. citizen was killed during the conflict. The American, who was not identified, did not work for the U.S. Embassy. We can confirm the death of one U.S. citizen in Sudan, a State Department spokesperson said to Fox News. We are in touch with the family and offer our deepest condolences to them on their loss. Out of respect for the family during this difficult time, we have nothing further to add.